So today I'd like to talk about storage and transportation of your DJ gear. For years, I, I've been DJing for over 15 years, and for probably 13 of those years, I just used totes, standard totes. Just throw your gear in, and uh, you know, you get to the gig, you dump it all out on the floor, figure out what you've got, set your stuff up and throw whatever's left over back in the tub. Well, a couple years ago somebody turned me on to this toolbox. It's the uh, Stanley Fat Max, I think 4-in-1 mobile workstation is what it's called. You can get it for under $100 on Amazon. It's got a handle in the back, two wheels, so you just, you can wheel it right into a gig. When you get to the gig, unlock the sides, flip open the top, and roll it back. Now, you probably can't see in here all the way. I don't have a cameraman, so I'm doing all this myself. But in the top bin here, keep my headphones. Three foot, three ten foot XLRs, a twenty five foot headphone to RCA. On the other side, I keep four thirty foot XLR cords, one twenty five foot DMX cord, and a roll of black gaff tape, two inch. This section here has four divided sections. So in here I keep, I think that's about a six foot XLR to quarter inch, a six foot XLR flashlight, a Leatherman multi-tool, a wired PG-58 microphone, a set of rugged wear box handling gloves. I find that I like to use these to set up. I have bought set wear gloves before, and the set wear gloves are nice, but I find that the fingers get holes in them really fast. So, I usually just get these rugged wear ones from Menards. They're less than half the price of the set wear ones anyways. I, I keep a paintbrush in here. And some may wonder what the heck you use a paintbrush for. But if you're doing a lot of gigs, um, say maybe you're DJing a street dance, you just, just in bars in general, your gear gets dusty. And so before every gig, I just use a paintbrush and dust off my controller. I keep an extra IEC power cord. I keep a really short, this is a one foot DMX cable. And I keep a one foot DMX cable because um, Sometimes I do use an app on an Amazon Fire tablet called uh, Light Rider, and there's a little dongle, and this thing's hap like nice to just go from the little dongle to the first moving head that I keep on my table. Um, I keep a XLR male to quarter inch TRS. Um, sometimes I use a little Mackie SRM 150. As, as a monitor speaker, and this goes out the booth output right into the monitor speaker nicely. A pack of four double A's. I have been meaning to get a nine volt battery to keep in here as well. I don't have anything that takes nine volt, but if you're at a gig and you know 
and whether there's you know a band there too. I've been asked more than one time, do you got a nine volt battery? And you know, I'll be honest, 100% of the time I've said no so far. So I want to put one in here just in case somebody forgets their battery, I can help make the show go on. Um, I've also got a mic stand adapter to my, for my laptop stand. So my laptop stand, which I'll show you in a minute, not only has, um, you know, legs to just set it on a table, but I can also, if I'm using one of my little DJ controller stands that doesn't have any room for a laptop on it, I can actually just bring a mic stand and my laptop can go right on a mic stand, which does make it nice because then it's height adjustable. I'll probably do a review on that at some point. Here's where I keep all my what if I need to connect something cable. So I've got a headphone to XLR. It's kind of a, a backup cable in case I need to use my phone or my laptop and plug right into a music source. I've also got a headphone to a two quarter inch TS. I've got a short headphone to RCA. I've got a headphone to headphone. I bought this thinking, well, it, it's, it's a headphone TRS to quarter inch TRS, and I thought I would be able to plug this into my phone and plug this right into the back of the speaker, but what winds up happening because it doesn't swap pins internally yeah, I'm not the best at wiring up cables, but this is just an adapter cord. So what happens if you plug it into a speaker and try to play music is you get the left and right coming out on here and you wind up with phase cancellation. You can still hear the music, but it sounds really weird. I've contemplated taking this cable out of my tote just for that reason, but at the same time I do keep it in here because it is an adapter cord. Um, I guess in case I in case I need it, uh, I'll probably eventually take it out. I'm keeping it in there for a little while just for the heck of it. Um, as another adapter, I've got a headphone to this is the Rapco Horizon LTI Blocks laptop interface. So it's headphone to XLR, and then it's got a, a volume knob on it. Kind of a handy thing. So I try to make it to where I have every adapter cord I can possibly think of needing or that I've ever needed in the past. Because you never know what might go wrong at a gig and you know what you might need to plug into if you need to plug into a house system, if you need to plug into one of your speakers, you know, just be prepared for anything. In the bottom here. I have my laptop stand, a six foot black fitted tablecloth, and I'm not going to pull all these out, but I do keep a surge protecting power strip, six foot, a uh, three in one. I like I like this one better than like the. Uh, the three-in-ones where it's like just this and you got a plug on the back because you get a little bit of cord with it. Uh, most of my power cords, so this is a 10-foot power cord with three on the end. I also keep a 25-foot black surge protecting power strip. I do have a few short 10-foot power cords in here, but for the most part I keep four of these uh, it's a 25 foot extension cord with three plugs. Uh, those ones are AccuCable brand. I've used those for quite a few years and haven't had one go bad. But basically I have this set up to be ready to go for what I call our DJ100 setup, which is a basic two speaker small light show setup. It's also set up with enough cords if we're bringing out, if I'm going out with our step up, which would be, you know, two tops and a sub, and then, you know, a little bit bigger light show. But 
I grab this, my controller, throw the speakers, speaker stands in the, in the vehicle and I'm ready to go. If I'm uh, going to just a bar and plugging in, I'll usually bring this in my controller because it's got my headphones and any cords I might need to plug into a house system. As far as my laptop stand goes, I said I would show this. I might might do a review on it, but I've got the it's ultimate support. It's very heavy. I don't know the model off the top of my head. Might do a video on it, but I like it because it's got a it's got a very heavy base. It locks down, but what you can do is you've got the base, these come up. If you want to, let's see, I don't remember how to do this. You can take the actual laptop stand part off of it, and that's what will attach to a mic stand if you want to use it that way. Otherwise, it can be you know right on here, which is how I typically use it. But sometimes it's nice to have the be able to throw it on a mic stand next to you. I've owned a few mic stands, or a few laptop stands. Most, most are pretty cheap, and I'm, I'm typically not a not a fan of laptop stands. But this Ultimate Support one is really heavy duty. It's it's not cheap. Um, I don't remember what exactly I paid for it, but I feel like it was like 50, 60 bucks, maybe a little bit more. Um, but yeah, that's my. Uh, this is my, I got a label DJ Bingham, and it's uh, the tote that I go out with when I DJ. If you, if you notice something missing from my tote, something I should have in here that I do not, feel free to throw it down in the comments section because I want to have my tote set up for anything that might happen. So, if you've got any ideas or a better tote than this, let me know.